everybody, long time no see. It has been quite a while since my last video, so to keep things fairly simple but also hopefully fun, I would like to pair up some landscapes with retired coats. This is something that I've done in a couple previous videos, but I do think it's a good chance just to look and kind of show off a lot of the creations that are on the game. There are just so many gorgeous landscapes and coats, but you only have so many golden apples, so many those rays to use so unless you just kind of sit here all day and flip through the creations directory which I would love to do it just takes a long time you're not going to be able to see all of the landscapes and the coats that are available and hopefully this will also give you some ideas of different pairings or color palettes or it'll just give you inspiration if you want to go through and pair up some backgrounds with your coats. Now, the only thing is though, I am going to be working in my retired coat farm. So if you're on international, all of these coats are retired. You would have to go into the sales and buy a horse with this coat all already applied. If you're on some of the smaller servers, it's very possible that most of these coats will not be retired, especially if they're over 100 uses. So this particular farm, all of these coats are over 100 uses you're probably going to find that they're not retired on the smaller servers. It just depends. You'd have to, you'd have to go look. Um, what we're going to do, none of these should have Helios rays. We're just going to filter that out because I have a separate farm for horses that have retired coats with over a hundred copies that have Helios rays, <laughs> if that makes sense. So it looked like it filtered some horses out. I'm going to have to go through and do some reorganizing or something. Uh, let's see, who do I want to start with? How about a unicorn? Unicorn? Yeah, let's go with the unicorn. I would really like to use some of the galaxy space themed landscapes that I have in my favorites list because those are those are my favorite. I just love galaxy space themed artwork in general. However, my personal preference uh, aesthetic is that I would rather have Pegasus horses in a galaxy space theme landscape because otherwise if it's just like this unicorn it would just look like it's just standing floating in space and I just think it looks a little weird that's just me Ooh, I do like this because the unicorn look like looks like it's glowing and then you've got the white caps from the waves the frothy frothiness it just looks really pretty Ooh, I like that but I don't know. This kind of gives me last unicorn vibes a little bit with the waves. Not the lighthouse because there wasn't a lighthouse in that scene in the movie, but still with the waves. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this. You know what I should do? Let's go and look at my favorites so I can get some of these used up. What I normally try to do is that once I use a landscape, I remove it from my favorites list, but like for this one, you'll see that it has the icon that indicates that I already have a horse wearing this landscape. And I do like it with that coat, but I think, you know what? I like this landscape so much that in the future, I might actually find a different coat that I think looks better with it. So I just, I leave it here because I just personally don't like to have duplicate landscapes in my farm. Oh, I really like this. This landscape, for some reason, I've always wanted a unicorn with this landscape but does the horse blend in just a little bit too much it kind of does and this is where I really miss the old preview page where you could click to preview the landscape as it would look on the horse's page because even zooming in like I zoom my browser window in right now and this is just not what it's going what it's going to look like on the horse's page I mean the horse is going to be it's going to look a lot bigger because it's going to be up front a lot more. So this just does not give me the same effect. I'm going to wait. I'm going to pick a different unicorn for that background. Uh, ooh, I like this one. And this really pops. And this is a very fantasy themed landscape. I think I have quite a few favorited by this author, Tuda. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'll probably end up messing up quite a lot of these pronunciations. So, ugh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I like this one. However, do I want to save this for a non-fantasy horse? 
I like this. There's just something about unicorns in the forest. There's just, yeah, unicorns in the forest. It's like a, it's like a thing, I guess. Isn't that a thing in artwork? Unicorns in the forest. I like it. I think we're going to go with that. Where'd that go? Ooh, I like this one too, but I already have a horse paired with it. And then I would have to go and remove, remove that background, which I don't want to have to worry about right now. I also don't want the horse to stand right in the middle of the lake. I think we're going to go with this one. I like this because the background's just a little bit darker. So the horse really pops. Yeah, let's go, with the, let's go with this one. Okay, one down, four more to go. That didn't take terribly long, did it? Okay, let me redo my search so I don't pick that horse up again. Do I have any Pegasus that look like they're flying? Because that's a Pegasus, but it's standing. I love this coat. I think this one's gonna end up being transparent. I have a couple of coats like this, and these are really fun to work with because you'll see the background through the parts of the coat that are transparent, like this one. Like you can see the background behind it. And I just think that is so cool. Uh, I love this coat. It's just really creative, really unique. So I really want to think long and hard about which background I pair with this. I kind of want like a castle, like a palace type of a theme for the background. We're going to hold off on that one. Because I really, I really want to um, pick something really suitable with that. Ooh, is this a Pegasus? It's a Pegasus, but is it a flying Pegasus? It is a flying Pegasus. Can I put you in a galaxy space theme background? I don't know, but we're going to try. So this is called Into the Light. I didn't actually mean to click on the apple, but there you go. There was the coat information. He'll use right. Here we go. Alrighty, space themed. See, and the space theme falls in several different colors, so trying to use the color filters. I really wish that the creation directories would let us. Um, ooh, hold on a minute. Hold that thought about the creation directories, because this coat has lightning bolts, and there are lightning bolts in this background. Ooh. I like that. That's wicked cool. Let's go with that one. Yeah, we're just going to go with that one. Okay. So with the creation directories thought, this is Rising Tempest by Thunder Horse. And that's Helios Rain number two. I really wish we could set up our own folders to organize the coats and the backgrounds. Because while the artists can tag their creations with certain colors you know it doesn't help maybe you want just a folder just for space theme backgrounds or for beach backgrounds sunset backgrounds you know what have you there are several players on the game who do have uh topics in their ec form where they've organized the creations into different categories like that but i think it would be really awesome that we could if we could set up our own i love this coat down here and it is a pegasus but this one could be either jumping, not so much flying. Like this one's jumping. I really want to put one in a space themed. I really want to use a space themed galaxy background today. This one I don't think I want to put with a space themed galaxy background. Okay, none of these horses say galaxy to me. Uh, let me look in my less than 100 used coat farm. Okay, none of these say galaxy. And I think that's it. Ray needs Lancet. Well, those already have Helios rays. They have unlimited Helios rays. So this is all we got. Darn it. Okay. Well, we're just going to start having to pick coats. And let's go with this one. I think this is a Lissy coat. Oh, that one has an unused tears on it. Yes, this is a Lissy coat. Lissy is one of my one of my favorite creators. I've been trying to collect all of their coats, but it's taking a while. So let's find a coat for you, my friend. Or a background. Coat, background, you know. We know what we're talking about here. Backgrounds. Okay, so I think I want something. Do I want something with blue? 
I kind of want something with blue so that it will play off the adornments, kind of the apparel that's on the coat. So something maybe a little, I kind of want a darker background. So that blue, that teal, I think is more of like a turquoise color. So that turquoise will pop, but I need to be careful that the coat doesn't blend right in. See, this would work color wise if you kind of moved it around a bit. The coat blends in. But I like the turquoise teal in the background. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I'm want, I've been wanting to use this landscape for so long. Ugh. See with this one though, I've really wanted to pair this with the horse that has a bit of a pink coat. So that then I can move the coat over to the left side. So then you'll have pink kind of balanced on the left and the right side of the landscape. Mm, I like that. But no, I don't. Ooh, winter could work. Like a winter themed. Ooh, I like this one. Blue cave. I think I like that one. Hey, that one has galaxy in the background. We could totally go with that. Just saying. Ooh, I like that. Because of the lights. Okay, we're going to open this page up in another tab so that we can remember where we left off. Whoa, I don't know what I'm doing here. I need to reselect my favorites because otherwise when you open it, when you duplicate your browser window, when you're choosing a Helios Ray, it'll actually pull up all of the backgrounds, even though I had my favorites selected. Ooh, I like this one too. Yeah, I need, I need something with some blue in it. <gasps> what about this one? With this work? I don't know. Do I want a coat with purple though? To play off the purple in this. Mm. That one's tricky. You could go either way with that. Ooh, I like that one. Actually, I quite like this. The Magic Portal by Kling. I kind of like this. Maybe it's the horse's talisman that's making the pedestal glow. Oh, what about this? Firefly Stream by Kling. That's the same creator. You know what? We're going to go with this one. I like this because the color matches just a little bit better, I think. Yeah, it matches the stream. We're going to go with this one. I like this one. This one's really pretty. Firefly Stream. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so that's the third one. We're not doing too bad here. We've used up three. If it's only taking us 15 minutes so far, <laughs> we're getting there. Okay, let me reset my search again. Okay, what else do we have? You know, I do believe this coat right here was my first ever retired coat purchase. And originally, we're getting off track here, I started purchasing retired coats simply for the trophies. And then I just decided that I liked the hunt of finding retired coats that I really liked. So I just kept collecting them. And it grew from there. Let's go with this one. I absolutely love this coat. I'm not really sure what, 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 what do I want to pair you up with? Ugh, I don't know. Okay, this, this background is teasing me. <laughs> this one's so darn pretty, but I just don't know. Ah, uh, there's just so many horses that would look good with, ooh, I like this. This horse could be the guardian of the gate. I kind of want to take advantage of the horse's pose because it looks like it's jumping over something. Maybe it's avoiding something else. So you could really play with that. Like if there was an obstacle, maybe it's jumping something. So you could almost move, move the horse over on its page. And it could look like that it's jumping the stuff that's in the center of that path. <laughs> so yeah. That's, that's my thoughts with that coat. Uh, hmm. Ooh, I like this background too. I like all these backgrounds. That's why, especially in this list, these are all of my favorites list. So I'm going to like all of these. Uh, let's see. Let me skip forward a few pages. Ooh, I like this one a lot. You know, this one actually would have looked really good with that Lissy coat. Too late. It's it's done. It's over with. 
oh I like this one I really like beaches this one is beautiful Ooh, so is this one. Oh, I love this one. Ooh, this one. I love this one so much. <laughs> Yay, I like all of these landscapes, but they're not working with the coat. Ooh, I love this one too. It's galaxy. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, underwater one. I like that one. Standing on the dolphin's nose, but you know. You know, I thought, oh, I do. I was going to say, I could have swore I had, I have a horse with that background. Ooh, this one's beautiful. This is like the perfect beach scene. Ooh, and I like this one's a bit more pastel-like, which is really pretty. Okay, do I have any, do I have any landscapes in here? that have something my horse could be jumping over, could be jumping off of. Come on, help me out here. I've got to have something. That one you could almost, that one kind of works. It could be jumping from these platforms. I kind of like this. Golden City on page 17. Let's see if I'll remember that. Page 17. I might just pick one here. Ooh, I love this, that one. I thought I had a horse with that landscape. I might have changed it. Ooh, this one would have worked with that Lissy coat too. <laughs> it's not helping me. Okay, let's go back to page 17. And we want Golden City. I've had this one favorited for a while because I really like this. Okay, so we're going to go with this one here. And... I think what we'll do, shrink the horse just a bit. Oh, what if we flipped it? Or what if we did that? There you go. Now it looks like it's jumping to that platform. Or we could put it over here because I think it stands out a bit better. And it could be jumping to this platform down here. I like that. We're going to go with that. Sometimes I don't really like offsetting them over to the side that much because the focal point, like, I just automatically want to look at the center of the page. We can always play with it later. Okay, we've got one more. That was our fourth. We've got one more. One more. Who do we want to pick on? Who are we going to torture next? Ooh, Gaelic lullaby. I think with this, I would like something that's a bit more realistic because to me, this coat is more on the realistic side. I mean, he could be either fantasy or realistic, but I don't have a lot of realistic backgrounds really just because I tend, I gravitate towards fantasy so much. So I think this would be a good chance to choose a more realistic style background. Serona, I love all of Serona coats. I actually did not know Serona had any backgrounds. Huh. You learn something new every day. I want green. I want green in the background. Maybe grass? Maybe trees? Ooh, I like this. Also, ones I don't have yet. Of course, that's going to reset. Ah, <sighs> Okay. I think this is a little bit too on the nose. <laughs> I do like this background though. I'm going to favorite it. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. Through the night. I do want a few elements because I think uh, this coat, you could definitely have a bit more of a busy background with it. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I really like this one. Because the chestnut coat plays off from the darker brown tones that are in the landscape. But not too much so that it still stands out. Which it helps because the background, because the sky is kind of gray. So that works. I really like that. Oh, I've never seen this one before. I like this. Save that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to save that one. Oh, I like this one too. Let me save that one too. Oh, I like so many of these. Ooh, that one's pretty. Ooh, I like this one too. Oh, I really like that one. Ooh, this one is...
especially, oh, that one. I love this. I don't know if, how I've ever not seen this one. Or sometimes I like them. I know I like them, but then I just don't favorite them. Ooh, King's Road. I like that. Oh, this one. I love the postcard type backgrounds. They're so cool. Ooh, I like, ooh, this one. Ooh, you know what? I think I want this one. Trees. It has, it's, the background is more busy. And I think it works. Ooh, I like this one too. Okay, we're going to go with that one. Which, where to, where to go? This one is Morning Riverside. And this is the creator. I, okay, we're not going to try that. <laughs> okay, here we go. We finally paired it up. There we go. And you can't see the whole thing, but probably if I enlarge my browser window, you would be able to see it. So that was me spending a very long time picking landscapes, five landscapes to go with five different retired coats. Hopefully I can do this again someday. I think next time though, just because I I have a smaller amount of coats to work with each time I do this. I'm going to try doing my homework beforehand just to give myself an idea of what backgrounds I think would look good with some of these coats because some of them just give me a little bit more difficulty than others. I don't know why, but they do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.